Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to look at how to activate the access keys. We'll look at the method of both using the Alt key to achieve this, as well as the Shift key and F6 function key. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to open Excel by clicking on the Excel icon here in my quick launch toolbar. Once I've opened Excel, as we've looked at many times, you can individually come and click on any of these ribbons. But many of the ways that we can achieve things in Excel is by activating the access keys. The access keys are activated by pressing the Alt key. Pressing the Alt key will allow you to press a number to access the items on your quick access toolbar or press a letter to access one of the tabs. So if we press H for home, then once we have pressed H, we can go in and we can make one of these individual selections, such as making our text bold. So we press the number one. And then when we write text, it would be bold. Or here, if we wanted to go to Alt Home and then underline, we'll just say underline, that text would be underlined. Now, I really like this method of using the quick access toolbar as well as using the Windows ribbon and the access keys, because you can actually use a hybrid method of say taking H for home and then going to say percentage so that one would become 100% or 1%. If you wanted to say go to your review tab, you could press the Alt key and then R for review and then you could add a new comment. So you can use a hybrid approach. You don't necessarily just have to use your keyboard when using the access keys. Now, an alternative to pressing the Alt key and activating your access keys is using the keyboard shortcut Shift F6. Pressing the Shift key and the F6 key will also activate your access keys, meaning that you could then press M for formulas and you could say do the auto sum function or you can insert a function. You could define names or a series of individual options such as B would calculate all of the values in your current cells. So you can, of course, use your mouse and manually click on these individual items. That is a third option, such as opening a file with your quick access toolbar, or you can just press the Alt key and then the number two for open, or you can press Shift F6 and then the number two for open. In a later video, we'll talk about how to customize your quick access toolbar as well as your Windows ribbon which will allow you additional functionality and, and potentially a high amount of efficiency when using Excel. So again, in this video, we looked at three ways to access the Windows Ribbon and our Quick Access Toolbar. The first was to press the Alt key. This would activate the access keys, which you can then type things such as insert. Maybe we want to go P for picture. And we would say maybe insert our logo. Here we'll insert our logo. Then we can also do Shift F. Six Shift F6 would achieve the same result. So we'll go N for picture, P for picture. Maybe we'll insert again our logo. And then third, if we wanted to insert our logo, we could manually click. We could come over to picture, picture, picture. Clearly, it would be under illustrations. We could scroll down, pick our logo, and we have a third instance. So in our next video, we'll look at using the tap key as a method to scroll between individual choices within our Windows ribbon, as well as the cursor method to achieving that same result. So check that out in our next video, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching.